On this episode of Cool Stuff I Stumble Across, we're going to the NSRA Street Rod National South in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is an event I've gone to since I was a kid. I go every year. And this year was a little smaller than usual because of COVID and because the event got moved from May to October. But for me personally, it was awesome. The weather was perfect. Uh, even though the turnout was smaller, I feel like the quality of cars was better. And there was some really cool stuff in the swap meet. So the very first thing that I see is a Kellison. And not a whole lot of people are familiar with Kellisons, but it is a vintage kit car that was based off of a Corvette chassis, Corvette running gear. And these things almost always ended up as race cars, either road race cars or drag race cars. And uh, this one obviously has some race car heritage. I don't know the full story, but the guy that was there selling it told me it came from Buffalo, New York. But you can tell that this car has some pretty serious modifications to the chassis. It's got a full roll cage in there. Uh, you can see that the rear section of that Corvette frame has been narrowed. Um, it's got four-link brackets. Even though it has leaf springs under it now, it has four-link brackets, big wheel tubs. Obviously, this was a drag car project at some point. Uh, now, it is up on four wheels. There's a lot of work left to be done on something like this. You know, no glass, no anything, basically. It's just a chassis and a body. And even what's there is a little bit rough. But I always love seeing these cars. It's actually one of the first Kellisons that I've seen in person, aside from the funny car that me and my dad own. And uh, you can look forward to a future episode of Hot Rod Hoarders on that specific car. But back to this one. This car is a cool piece, it's a little pricey for my taste, uh, but definitely cool, something you never ever see at a swap meet. So I thought it was awesome. Moving on, I found a vendor with some cool vintage pieces. Some of them were out of my price range, some of them were actually pretty affordable. Um, the things that caught my attention were the first generation Camaro hood. It's a fiberglass lift off hood and it's got a cool vintage pro stock looking scoop on it. The same guy had a pair of Mickey Thompson wheels. They're a Raider style wheel, very popular in the 60s. And the coolest thing about these is that really awesome center cap with the little spinner on it. This guy also had a really rare intake manifold for a small block Chevy. It's a Kreitz brand, which is just, you, you just never see them. So I thought that was cool too. So as I'm walking through the swap meet, here comes a truck and a trailer with a couple of cars on the back of it and the one on the very back of the trailer really got my attention. It's a 32 Ford five window coupe and this thing is a true survivor. I talked to the guy just for a minute. He said that his dad built the car in the late 50s and early 60s. It was last registered in the 70s and this thing is like a time capsule. It's got a small block Chevy with three deuces, ram's horn manifolds, Sits up high, got wide white wall tires on it. They're the old tires. They're crusty and old, but so cool. And the chop on this thing is incredible. The interior quality is really awesome too. I mean, this car was done right. And it really stood the test of time. I mean, this thing obviously was setting on the inside somewhere, um, but just an absolute perfect survivor. I wouldn't change a thing on this car. I knew it would be way out of my league, but I had to ask the guy a price on the 32. He said it would take $60,000 to buy it, which is pretty high. I mean, there's definitely a barn find factor added into that price, and I totally get it. Where else are you gonna find a survivor like this? So after I finished in the swap meet, I headed into the car show area, caught up with a few buddies, went, made a few laps around the show, and uh, just checked out some of the cool stuff that was there. One of the things that caught my eye was a second generation Camaro. And the thing that really jumped out at me was the tire and wheel combination. Kind of strange to see some really skinny Firestones and smoothie wheels on a 70 something Camaro. Inside of this car, you'll see that it's got a 1944 dash and 1944 steering wheel. Kind of a huge gap in, you know, 1940 to 19, you know, early 70s. Uh, but I don't know, it was really nice, really slick car, just kind of an odd combination of stuff. I ended up doing a few photo shoots on cars while I was there. One of them was a 1929 Ford Model A Roadster. Really neat car, had a bunch of homemade stuff on it, lots of aluminum, sheet metal stuff on the inside, 
lots of little hidden tricks too that I really liked and uh, did a little quick shoot on it. Then I shot a 1933 Ford five window coupe. This thing has got major hot rod history all the way back to the 50s and 60s. Killer, killer chop, killer stance. And this thing's got a 427 cubic inch small block Chevy engine, Brodix aluminum block, Brodix heads, Weber carburetors. This thing makes some big power and it's just cool. It's black on black on black. It was built by Chad Adams and his crew down in Georgia. They've been building some absolutely killer traditional hot rods and this is just another example of what they can do. Another photo shoot was on a 1972 Chevy K5 Blazer. This is not normally something that I would shoot, but there's a new truck magazine called Classic Truck Performance and they're looking for features. So I shot this thing, it's four wheel drive, it's lifted up a little bit, got some BFG all-terrain tires on there and, and the original six lug truck rallies really cool stance. I mean, it's not like over the top, but it's not stock right where you want it to be. The coolest thing about this truck was the absolutely flawless interior. I mean, it has the plaid inserts. It has everything you want inside of there. And then under the hood, it's got an LS motor. I actually didn't expect that, but it's got an LS motor, fuel injection, fire this thing right up and take off down the road. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the trip to the NSRA Street Rod National South in Knoxville, Tennessee. I've got another new video coming up next Friday. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. And as always, feel free to leave me a comment below. I try to get back in touch with you guys as good as I can. Sometimes they slip through the cracks, but I do try to interact as much as I can with you guys. I appreciate each and every comment, each and every view. Thank you for watching.